about four years ago I bought a boat in a very bad shape I fixed it and I ended up living in that boat for a while and then I discovered that fulfilling dreams sometimes is not that expensive I mean I didn't need to be rich to, to fulfill my dream to live the life and I shouldn't wait until being very old to start fulfilling dreams at that time my wife was working in Dallas she joined me every time she could uh, she was getting tired with her job and uh, we discussed a lot about what to do next and I, I was feeling that she was working only to pay the bills to keep the house running but it was super expensive uh, we didn't need that house any longer because our kids were worn up so uh, I was telling her what if if we rent the house and, and just quit the job for a while or what if we if we rent the house and um, finally she decided to get a gap gear uh, but she asked me to change the boat for a bigger boat so now that we we were thinking this is our new house we we made a little investment and we sold that boat and, and we bought a bigger one that was a, a experience but uh, the point is that uh, after we were doing that uh, Paula told me one day hey I got a job in Thailand and I can do that when I get too old I have to do that soon what if we do that okay let's do it so let me show you what Paula or how she got the job and then I, I, I'm gonna show you guys a little about the the life here in 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 Thailand and how's the economy and everything that maybe is interesting for you guys okay Paula. <laughs> why did you move to the nomadic life oh because I felt that I was stalking a job like in the same place all the time, nothing changed. I love my friends, I love my my house, I love everything, but my kids um, were, went to live their lives, so we were like, I was like, okay, there is no point of staying in the house anymore, so we sold the house and I wanted to explore new things. Okay, why did you like to come to Thailand? Oh, because my son came many, some years ago when he graduated he came here as a graduation gift and he loved it so he has come here like two or three times and his dream is to come here to Thailand to live a digital life so that's why I was like I want to go to to see how it is and then we met some friends while we were traveling in Africa and we asked them okay what is your favorite place to go and all of them said Thailand so we were like, oh, we need to try, or I said, we need to try Thailand. It was a big surprise for me when you told me that you got a job in Thailand. And I think for most of the people, it's, I mean, it's, it's, it's almost impossible finding a job in Thailand. I mean, we were in the U.S. How did you find a job? I, I tried like three years, like three years, two years to find a job, but it always said native speaker, native speaker. So I was like, no, I'm, I'm not going to find a job. But last year, I was like, I found kids, kids English Thailand, and they were like, you don't need to need to be a native speaker, and I have American passport, so it was easier for me to find a job. And they found a school where I could teach English, and yeah, but you don't need to come with with an agency because you just can come like you. Well, I have a friend Sam. He's from Bhutan. He speaks English. And he just went into the internet, Google it, and he found a job here in uh, in Thailand. So it's it's it, it's easy if you want to teach English. It's 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 easy. You don't have to be a teacher. You just have to have a bachelor in something. That's the only requirement they have. Okay. And if you are in one of the native speakers' um, passports, if you have one of those passports, you don't have to do any test. If you are not from those native speaker countries you have to take a, a test but that's it yeah and I, I think sometimes the first time is more difficult but this time 
teaching English is the name. I'm in the, I don't Kids, remember. Kid, Kids English Thailand. The company help bring teachers. That's teachers. their business, and they're very nice. And what I like about what they do is like they take a week to teach you the culture and some words and food and everything, and it's very very helpful. Yeah. About the money. Is, is, is enough the money that you get for for teaching English here? To yes, everything here is very cheap, like in Pichit, I, I don't know in other cities, but everything is very cheap, the rent, the food, so I think it's enough, yeah. How much do we pay uh, for uh, rent? For rent, we paid 6,000 baht. And in dollars is? Like, I don't know, 200, I think. And I get paid, I don't know in bats, but it's like 900 something dollars and I think that's enough to live. Okay. Yeah. If you don't come with the agency, you get paid more. They get a part of your salary. So, but if you come directly. And now you have been living here for a month. Did it work to make the change? Yes, I like I like the culture to live another culture. People are very nice, their smiles, and just to learn every day. I'm learning something new in a new world, so it's fun to see how you get better and you can get to go to beautiful places. We wish we will be more in the south, so we could go to more places. But here, it's been beautiful. We've gone like to three different places and they have been gorgeous. When Pola got the job offer, we were moving from the Gemini to the Proud 38, a much more comfortable boat. Uh, but the problem is that we didn't have time to, to do something else other than put the boat again in the heart and pay $500 per month. So the tip here is Try to sell your house or try to rent your house, but don't keep things. And we, we did that very good with our house because we sold the house, we invested the money, we sold most of our cars. We only kept uh, just the necessary in case we return. The flight was long. Thailand is in the opposite side of the world. For that ticket we paid around $600, it was one way only from Austin to Seattle, Seattle to Tokyo, Tokyo to Bangkok. It was a good flight. And the hotel, this hotel is only $40 per night and includes an incredible breakfast for two people. The attractions in Bangkok are affordable. I think we never pay more than $15. Usually free. It's, it's affordable. We stayed in Bangkok really one day only, two nights. We try to visit everything, but we have to repeat. We arrived at the beginning of the rainy season, but usually it rains really hard, but in a couple of hours it stops raining. The next day we took a flight to Sukhothai. There we met Matthew, the owner of the company that hires teachers for the schools. Matthew is a really, really nice guy, as uh, all his staff. Uh, here we stayed for four days, I think. Here the teachers not just only learn how to behave in the school, but they are prepared to adapt to a, a new life here in Thailand. This is a new culture, different religion, people super polite. The food here is super delicious and is part of the cultural activities. Oh. 
Sukhothai is really beautiful, it's uh, very close to a historical place. So we went outside with the staff and lived a normal life that the people there live. We even went during the night to a picnic with part of the staff. They were awesome, really nice people. The other days we also visited some historical places and some restaurants so we learned how to order dishes, how they are and how to avoid the spicy, really spicy food. We learned how the markets work and how to get some basic stuff for us. Do you want? Yes. I invite. Small frog. You want? You want a oh. bite? I'm so full. <laughs> I was. So, he's the hungry one. <laughs> I'm not sure if I want to try frog either. A cockroach. Yeah. I try this this, and then this the one with egg. Paula visited a school. So Matthew explain how the students and everything is different than in the US. Just even say hello is different here. You have to go to some people in a different position. Yeah, in Thailand, the temple. The transportation in Thailand is affordable also, but we want the freedom of a motorcycle. Everybody is kind, even driving, but the U-turns here are really risky. Matthew helped us a lot looking for the motorcycle. We visited several places until we found this beauty. I paid a little less than $1,500 for this bike, 155 cubics, and it had only 5,000 kilometers. After these days, Matthew's company help us again. They yeah, yeah, took yeah. us Perfect. to Pichit, a city around two hours from Sukhothai, where we are going to live. Before we arrived, they had selected several apartments and houses according to our necessities. We had to finish the contract and everything, but they helped us looking for the places. The rent is $180. For a room apartment is only $90. Paula's school is only 15 minutes walking from the house. The food here is delicious and really cheap. A buba tea is only $1 and a simple but healthy dish can start in two dollars. Ordering food with sign language or with an app is pretty easy, but don't forget to ask for zero spicy or maximum a little bit. Almost every big gas station has a beautiful cafe. Our favorite is Amazon Cafe. Here we find the frappuccino very similar to the Starbucks one and it's around two dollars but we didn't come here just to eat and work we came here to have fun and travel around Thailand to discover this culture and uh, all the beauty we are in the central part of the north area of Thailand this is not the main touristic area, so we thought uh, it, it, it will be difficult to find some fun. But we are amazed that we found beautiful, beautiful spot. During a long weekend, we paid only $7 per day to enter to a national park and uh, $20 per night for this hotel that is uh, like little cabins but really good and no. even a healthy breakfast was included
The price for a gallon here is around three dollars and ninety cents, and communicating is normally really easy. Just aiming and holding a hand. But understanding where to park the motorcycle at the gas station sometimes is difficult to understand. Another weekend, another trip. This time we stop it at our favorite restaurant in the area. It's around 12 minutes from home. The food is incredible. Uh, we ordered some more dishes and we paid around $12 for that meal. The hotel, including breakfast, was only $20. That Saturday we climbed the mountain and entered to a national park. We paid around seven dollars per person. Finding a hotel was kind of difficult. We didn't book a hotel because we wanted to be sure we had a good view. We paid $30 for this room. During the morning we enjoyed the ocean of clouds coming up. If you enjoyed this video or do you need more information, please subscribe and ask me whatever you want. I would love to make more videos about this topic. Thank you.